I've been fortunate enough to travel around it a wee bit and talk to some farmers in just the last year uh, in Southland, Manawatu, and, and here in Tetauihu, where they've already made the change and over the last three, four years have learnt or adopted you know, um, regenerative farming practice, um, biological farming practice, organic farming practice, and there's all kinds of terminologies you can use, but basically, when, when you look at the people, the farmers themselves, they've made a purposeful um, sort of a mindset change to operate far more uh, cognizant of bringing back soil health, bringing back animal health, and bringing back their own health and well-being. And it's really interesting when you talk to some of them who, who are standing in their paddock with a mixed sward of chicory and plantain and you know, um, and, and wonderful range of you know, 14 or 15 different grasses in their sward. And, 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 and they themselves are feeling far more healthy and mentally um, more, more well off from farming in a more sustainable manner. And they're, they're pushing the boundaries. The system around them is saying, hey, what are you doing? You're different. And, and, and these guys are having the courage to crack on and keep doing it. Now, that's only going to continue to grow because it's becoming financially uh, optimal to mm. do so. So we need to increase the, the storytelling. We need to make uh, the coaching around these farming systems more, more accessible. And then we need to, as Bruce says, provide the data and the evidence around it at the same time about how if you're increasing your, um, your soil profile, your microbiota in the soil, that's actually going to have a, a significant impact in the waterways uh, and, and the biota and the, and, the, and the waters around those farms. So it has begun, but we need to urgently um, demonstrate those exemplars mm. and create coaching and systems and incentives to do it further, not just in dairy farming, but in sheep and beef, mm. horticulture mm. And, and the wine growers in this particular region here. It's totally doable.